South America, a continent at once familiar and distant. in history, a World Rally Championship qualifier takes place on South American soil, the Côte d'Azur Rally. Argentina and its capital, Buenos Aires, are playing host to the event. Rich in old world charm, Buenos Aires is often called the Paris of Latin America. Datsun is one of the four factory teams in the rally. The others are Fiat, Peugeot, and Mercedes. Though this is the second Côte d'Azur rally, the first was last year, it is Datsun's first try. Both Fiat and Peugeot took part last year, and for this year, Fiat has been rehearsing for a month. A city of cafes, music, the tango, and football, Buenos Aires is one of the six starting points of the Cota Sur Rally, which is round five for makes and round six for drivers in the 1980 World Rally Championship. Datsun will be starting from Buenos Aires, represented by two Datsun 160Js. Buenos Aires is the home of the Argentine Grand Prix, and the rally is an eagerly awaited event. At last, it's here, July 19th, 1980. For the start, the contenders are gathered in front of the Automobile Club of Argentina. There's a festive atmosphere everywhere. The unique Latin pulse of the city is beating loud and clear. Shekhar Mehta is in car number one, a Datsun 160J. For his navigator, he has his wife, Yvonne, a most unusual team. From Buenos Aires, the cars will be traveling northwest to San Miguel de Tucumán for the rally proper. 12 noon, and the Metas are off. Car number five, we have the second Datsun 160J with veteran Swedish driver Harry Kallström at the wheel. The Côte d'Azur rally is on. Côte d'Azur is short for the Spanish name of the rally's organizer, the Automobile Association of South America. Following the original concept of a rally, entries may travel to Tucumán from any of six places in six countries. They start at noon, July 19th, and must be in Tucumán by 8 the next morning. Once there, they get into the actual competition. Arriving in Tucumán after the 1,125-kilometer drive from Buenos Aires, Meta and the others have a few hours to rest before the first of the four competitive stages. Present are such well-known international race and rally figures as Bjorn Valdegard, Harry Kallström, Argentine Carlos Reutemann, and Hanu Mikola from Finland here for Mercedes. There are also a lot of private entries, and altogether there are about a hundred in the rally. of the Andes. It is serving as the start and finish of each of the rally's competitive stages. For 
the first stage, the cars take off at 12 noon, July 20th, on the outskirts of Tucumán. Meta's Datsa leads the pack, but right behind it are the other factory engines. Five Fiats, three Peugeots, and four Mercedes. kilometers from the start, the cars get into a special stage, the first of the rally's 14. These special stages are designed to test the cars and drivers. Very much like a race course, this 35 kilometer special stage is mostly tarmac, and here Dotson has to contend with the superior horsepower of the Fiat, Peugeot, and Mercedes cars. German driver Walter Rohr enjoying the 240 horsepower of his Fiat. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meta, who won this year's Safari Rally in a Datsun 160J, maintains a steady pace. To Fiat's 240, Peugeot's 260, and Mercedes 380 horsepower, he's got only 190. Mercedes 500 SLC. Kalstrom. Because Dotson got information on the rally much later than the others, it is using only ordinary tires, while the others are suitably equipped with racing tires. It's a big handicap, and both Kalstrom and Meta suffer punctures in this stage, causing them to fall significantly behind. Guards Mercedes drops from 8th to 67th place. Starting again from Tucumán, this time at 6 the next morning, the cars head north on the rally's second stage. This covers four special stages, a total distance of 891 kilometers, and an ascent up Andean ridges more than 3,000 meters above sea level. Though it's winter, it's hot, dry, and dusty. Again, Datsun is at a disadvantage. Meta has to start behind 12 cars, and Kalstrom behind 14. to over 3,000 meters above sea level, the cars get on flat terrain by special stage four. But the road curves, dips, and rises treacherously, and the dust is overpowering all the way. By special stage six, the going gets really rough. This is considered the severest test of the rally. Here, the dirt road twists continuously, uphill and downhill. Durability counts most here, and Dotson is just right for that. In fact, here, Meta rises from 13th to 7th place. Only the toughest cars make it to the finish of this 130-kilometer special stage. Thank you. 
initial stage, the cars have to ford several rivers. Notably, Reutemann and his Fiat, who has to wait some 20 minutes before being rescued by a Fiat service helicopter. The battle carries on even after nightfall. And when it's all over, 32 cars, including Valdegard's Mercedes and Machinen's Peugeot, are out. day during the third 685 kilometer stage, the Metas pull in for servicing at a Datsun service point. Working closely together, the Datsun service crew includes mechanics from Japan, Argentina, and Paraguay. It's a tightly knit group that's ever alert and ready for action. By special stage 10, one of the four in the third stage, the cars are back at more than 3,000 meters above sea level. But this time, it's a descent back to Tucumán. Now, only two out of the five Fiat factory entries, one out of the three Peugeots, and one out of the four Mercedes are still in the running. The field has narrowed down to 30 cars, but the fight is keener than ever. Meta, with the other Datsun 160J out, carries on and succeeds in climbing to fourth place. When the final day arrives, July 24th, the rally has been turned into a battle between Rural and his Fiat 131 Abar, Mikola and his Mercedes 500 SLC. Meta and his Datsun 160J. And Frenchman Lefebvre and his Peugeot. rally is over. More than 3,000 kilometers have been covered. Only 24 entries have made it to the finish. It's been a rally where high speed counted most, and with its bigger horsepower, Fiat is first overall. To Datsun's disadvantage, it demanded less endurance capability than anticipated. But there's sweet victory for Datsun and the Meta husband and wife team. Placing first in their class, Class 6, Group 2, they've also succeeded in placing fourth overall. Proving yet again that you can count on Dotson for performance of the highest quality.